Hello again, guys. I'm back for another Blu-ray update. That's right. I promised you all it was coming. Uh, it came a little bit later than expected, but I'm here, ready to go through my pickups. Um, I think this is a really good haul. I'm really happy with this haul. I got about 10 titles to go through, and uh, these are all movies that I've been wanting for a long time. You know, they're not just random movies that I picked up just for the sake of the hunt, which I do sometimes, but... Uh, but this time I got movies that I've been wanting for a long time. Really happy with this haul. So let's get into it. Now, first off, um, so yesterday I went on a pretty big Blu-ray hunt. I went to a lot of places, came out with a lot of good stuff. But these two titles I picked up a couple weeks ago. So first, uh, I went to Second and Charles and... You know, something that I, uh, something I saw there that I don't think I've ever noticed before was the clearance section. They have a, they have a rack of clearance DVDs and Blu-rays. And, uh, cause you know, Second and Charles, I complain about their prices a lot, which, you know, it's, their prices are a little questionable on some things, you know, they'll have titles that are like $12 that you can get for five at Best Buy or whatever, and, uh, you know, it's, but they have a clearance section. The clearance section has some really good stuff, and I think the reason most of them are on clearance is the uh, the slip covers are a little messed up, or the cases are kind of broken. Um, but they're really good prices, and I think from now on, Second and Charles, I'm just going to go straight to the clearance bin and see what they got. But uh, anyway, so when I first found the clearance bin, I found the town with slip cover, and, and again, I think you can see the slip cover is kind of a little bit torn. I think that's probably the reason it was on clearance, but this was, uh, this was five dollars. Good deal. And, uh, I hadn't seen this movie yet. I really wanted to see it for a while, so I picked it up, was really excited to watch it. Um, watched the theatrical cut first, because this does have the extended cut. So first I watched the theatrical, then the extended, then I watched the theatrical again. So I've seen it three times so far on Blu-ray, and I love this movie. I really do. I really love it. I'm a big fan of heist movies, you know, really love the bank robbery movies. And, uh, you know, this movie has, it has a lot of drama too, but it's really good. They really blend the drama and the action together very well. And a lot of great performances. Uh, Jeremy Renner, in my opinion, gives the standout performance in this movie. He... He did get an Academy Award nomination. Definitely deserved that because he just gives one hell of a performance. That dude is such a great actor. And uh, he just does fantastic in this movie. But um, but anyways, I'm still trying to decide whether I like the theatrical or the extended cut better. Because uh, unfortunately, I don't think they extended any of the heist scenes. I think for the most part, all the extended scenes were with Ben Affleck and Rebecca Hall kind of just, you know, uh, showing more of their relationship and really showing how far things got between them, which uh, it was good, don't get me wrong, it was interesting, but uh, I don't know, I'm, I'm still trying to decide which one I like better. But, yeah, the town, really glad to get that. <clears throat> so then I went to Best Buy, picked up Vice, new release, $20, was really looking forward to seeing this on Blu-ray. I did see this in the theaters, and I enjoyed it. Um, I know this movie gets a lot of hate. I've been reading online. A lot of people dislike this movie, and I can see where they're coming from for the most part. You know, they a lot of people complain about the editing. You know, it's really choppy, which I get that, you know. I'm not going to say this movie's better than The Big Short. I definitely think The Big Short was better than this one. Um, but I just... I think this is a very good film. I love Christian Bale. He's definitely my favorite actor. Um, you know, I just, I love how he just transforms literally into his roles. You know, it's the machinist. He's anorexic. Uh, the fighter, he was pretty skinny in that too. You know, um, then the Dark Knight trilogy, he's just like ripped. And then this movie, he's really fat. It's just, I, I think that dude is just amazing. A lot of people call him a chameleon, which... I completely agree with, honestly. I mean, I I fully agree with that. But there's a lot of great performances, though. Sam Rockwell, Steve Carell, Amy Adams, the whole main cast gives great performances. Very funny movie. Uh, very, very good music, you know. So, 
I don't know. I just, I enjoy this movie. I really don't know what else to say. Okay. So that's, um, so these are all the movies I picked up yesterday. I picked up eight titles yesterday. It was a very, very good hunt. Um, so we'll start with Second and Charles. Again, went back to the clearance section. Found some good stuff. I got three titles for $10. Very good deal. Um, so I got Ted, unrated version. That was $2. Good deal. Um, been looking for this movie for a while now. Haven't seen it in a long time, but I used to love it. Seth MacFarlane, I'm a big fan. Um, just really funny movie. Godzilla, also $2. Um, I saw this in theaters, and I haven't seen it since seeing it in the theaters. I've only seen this movie one time, but I remember enjoying it in the theater, and, uh, you know, just, I don't know, lately, I just randomly thought about this movie one day, and I just thought, you know, I, I might like to see that again. I might, I don't know, I kind of want to see it again, so I saw it for $2, couldn't pass it up. This movie also has Brian Cranston in it, and, you know, I'm a big fan of Brian Cranston, love that dude. And apparently this is actually a French import, which I did not notice originally, but anyways, so Godzilla, looking forward to seeing that. Wish it had that really cool slipcover, but can't have everything in this world. <clears throat> Alright, 10 Cloverfield Lane, I was so excited to find this. Uh, this was $6, and I love this movie. I absolutely love this movie. Um, it's just, you know, I, I love the setting, I love the whole underground bunker uh, post-apocalyptic type setting, you know, I love it, um, John Goodman, I said in one of my videos that John Goodman is a very underrated actor, and this is an example of what I'm talking about, he gives a phenomenal performance in this movie, really creepy character, really funny, um, this is just a great movie, you know, and I, I gotta say, um, I like this better than the original Cloverfield, uh, I think the original Cloverfield is a good film. I think it's enjoyable. Um, it's entertaining, you know, the good monsters and all that. Really well done. The only thing I dislike about it is the... Uh, I'm not a fan of shaky cam, found footage movies. I'm just... I'm not a fan. I'm, I'm extremely prone to headaches. And last time I watched that movie, I just remember it made me dizzy. And I felt like I was going to throw up. So, um, if you're like me, it's definitely the type of movie where you gotta take a Dramamine before watching it. So, uh, but I don't know, it's, it's an enjoyable film, but this one is so much better in my opinion. It's just, I really, I'm, I'm more a fan of, you know, cinematic movies instead of, uh, found footage films. But, uh, anyway, so, came out Second and Charles for $10. Um, then I went to Best Buy. Picked up one thing, Halloween, the 2018 movie, with the really nice slipcover. I did see this in theaters, and uh, I enjoyed it. It's entertaining, you know. It's I definitely enjoyed it. I love that they brought Jamie Lee Curtis back. She she is just so awesome in this movie. Um, very funny movie, too. There's a lot of good humor. And, uh, you know, I... Um, when it first came out, it was $20, and I... I didn't enjoy it enough to where I was going to spend $20 on it. You know, the only time I'll spend $20 on a new release is if I really love the movie and I'm really looking forward to rewatching it on Blu-ray. So I didn't want to spend 20 on this, but yesterday when I went there, they dropped the price to 13 So I figured, 13 bucks, yeah, I'll, I'll go ahead and get it. And luckily it still has the slipcover, so glad to get that. Looking forward to rewatching. Now, these last four I picked up at Walmart. For once, Walmart actually has some good stuff. They have a steelbook wall, finally. They have a wall of really cool steelbooks. I probably wanted about 75% of the movies they had there. Um, they had Drive, Ghostbusters 1 and 2. They had the Game of Thrones steelbooks. If you guys don't know about those, look them up. They are really, really cool. I think they were like $25 each, maybe, which is a, it's a good good price for those. Um, but I came out with four steelbooks, very happy with all of these. The first, Taxi Driver, gorgeous artwork on that. I could not pass that up. I do already own this movie. I own the, uh, you know, the rubberized box set, whatever you want to call it. 
but I had to get this steelbook because that is just such a gorgeous cover, and I absolutely love this movie. This is one of my favorite movies, so I just I knew I had to get that. No interior, sadly, but yeah, really cool design. This was fifteen dollars, so. Um, all right, I got Zombieland. Very interesting to me because it doesn't have text on the cover. I think this is the only steelbook that I own. I think it's the only steelbook I've ever seen that doesn't have text on the cover. It's very interesting, but uh, at the same time, though, I can understand why. Because, you know, where would they put uh, text on this? Where would they put the title on this? I mean, it would kind of just ruin the design. So I can understand why, but... Uh, but yeah, that's Zombieland. I haven't seen this in a long time, but it is a very funny movie. I used to really enjoy this movie, and I love the cast. Very good cast in this movie, so really looking forward to rewatching that. That was $10. Okay, The Evil Dead, also $10. Very, very nice design. Um, again, I do already own this movie on Blu-ray, but it doesn't have this cover. Um, and honestly, if it did have this cover, I might not get the steelbook, but I, because I think this artwork is so much better than the one I have on the original Blu-ray. Very nice back artwork. But, uh, yeah, this was $10, and the thing is, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna trade that one into Second and Charles, and I think on my next video, on my next Blu-ray update, I'm going to make a video before it, I'm gonna show all the movies I'm gonna trade into Second and Charles, because... I have way too many movies right now, and what, I'm, I'm somewhat of a Blu-ray hoarder, and what I mean by that is I have several copies of different movies, like this, Django, and, you know, District 9, you know, it's just, it's a problem, and I gotta get rid of them, so I'm gonna, comp I'm gonna make a pile of movies that I'm gonna take to Second and Charles, and, uh, hopefully come out with some good stuff, get some trade credit, but, uh, yeah, so really, really happy to get that. And finally, this is the thing I'm most excited about. I just, I lost my mind when I saw this in the store. E.T. for, this was $17. Definitely worth the money. I didn't already own this movie on Blu-ray, so. And that is just such gorgeous artwork. That is such a cool design. And look at that. I mean, that is just, uh, that's one of the best steelbooks I've ever seen, honestly. That is just, look at that. That is so awesome. And this one does have interior art. It's got a really, really cool... And look at those discs, too. Look at the artwork on those discs. That is so nice. You got the Blu-ray and the DVD. And very, very cool artwork on this movie, honestly. Um, I had to have it, obviously. You know, it's a classic movie. Used to really love it as a kid. Haven't watched it in a while, though. But I'm actually going to watch this right when I finish this video. So... Really looking forward to that. I've been wanting to watch it. Um, so yeah, I th anyways, I don't know. This is just a great great artwork. Great steelbook. Had to get it. When I walked in, I, I looked at all the steelbooks, and I saw this one. My eyes just zeroed in on this one, and I knew I had to have it. I picked this up first immediately. I knew I had to have it. Very happy with that pickup. All right, so that's all. Like I said, just... I think this was a great haul. I'm very happy with this haul. You know, a lot of movies that I've been wanting for a long time. Really excited to get them all. So, um, f so for the last part of this video, I'm going to switch the camera around just for a second and head into the closet. Show you all a little addition I made to my display. It's not a very big addition, but it's I still want to show it. So, I'll go ahead and do that right now. All right, so here is the display, and drum roll, please, here we go. Yes, there it is. There it is, right next to my Family Guy collection. I think that looks really nice. Um, I had to have some Simpsons in here, you know. I had to represent the Simpsons because it is one of my favorite shows. And uh, this is actually the Season 20 DVD. As you can see, the discs are in there. Um, so that's the Season 20 DVD insert. Um... For The Simpsons, they always do this cool wraparound artwork for all the inserts. And uh, so I just I moved all that stuff over to the left a little bit to make room. But uh, yeah, I think that looks really nice. You know, that's from the, like I said, it's from the Season 20 DVD. And 
you know, I have the Season 20 Blu-ray now. I got that a couple years back, so I decided uh, I don't really use, I don't need the Season 20 DVD set anymore, so I figured I would just take that out and display it right there, and I think that artwork looks really nice, so I'm very pleased with the way this display looks. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Well, that's going to be all for our video today, folks. I thank you all for watching. I'll be coming back soon with another Blu-ray update, probably within the next couple weeks here. And I might have some more quick, fun little videos along the way. We'll see. There's definitely more to come, I promise. So uh, thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.